All right, guys, today we have a 2004 Ford Explorer here. This is actually my car, a little different than the European stuff I usually show you. Uh, and we're doing the timing chains. Um, <laughs> it's, it's so bad. So this car has about 280,000 miles on it, and it was running. It ran like this, um, but the chains are unbelievably bad. I, I can't believe it was still running. Uh, there's the rear cassette. Here's the front cassette. There's the main drive chain from the crank to the jack shaft. And then there was a balance shaft chain that um, I dug out of the oil pan. It, it, it snapped and exploded a long time ago. Uh, so first let's let's look at this chain and how much slack <laughs> there is this this car was running I drove this car into this bay uh, if you look at the guide here it's been riding in here so long that it's worn through this metal right and you can see the damage right you can see there used to be a plastic guide then that exploded and then there was just the metal and it was riding on the metal and that wore away uh, again, this car, <laughs> this car ran. I drove this in like this. Um, this cassette, it, the slop is kind of, it's kind of gone right now because I, I turned the engine a little bit. It's kind of preloaded, but there was a ton of slop in this chain too. Uh, as you can see, the same situation. The plastic guide is gone. Uh, it's just the chain is rubbing on the metal frame of the, you know, the guide. Uh, that's the the tensioner on the on the driver's side head. In the back, you have the rear cassette that you can only get to if you take the uh, engine out or the transmission. And you can see this chain also has a ton, a ton of play. Uh, there was a guide that bolted to this bolt. That guide was in the oil pan. It was broken in about 10 pieces. And you can't see it, but the, the bolt itself has worn away on the on the the chain's been hitting it so long that it's like machined it's like machine the bolt back over here so this this has just got a bunch of slop in it uh yeah I, I can't believe this car was running and it was noisy as noisy as hell you wouldn't believe it sounded like a diesel but it ran it drove it drove there's uh some of the stuff i pulled out of the pan are sitting over here here's just some of the guides some of the pieces of the guy it's here's a little piece of metal i don't know that was probably part of that front that front chain guide but yeah uh and like i said the balance shaft had a chain uh and that was in about three or four pieces in the pan so that that went first the other three chains they're still there and uh like i said this has got 280 thousand miles on it it ran um you know the check engine light was on uh it was definitely running rough and super noisy i'm guessing that the 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 timing was just way off it was probably running lean in one of the banks that was the code so but yeah i mean i gotta give it to ford a lot of guys have a problem with these engines where the chains just explode uh like the, ch the like the you know the cassettes explode and the car shuts off that's the end of that this one this never it didn't happen this it ran it kept running uh, and I finally, you know, said it's time to do them. But anyway, that's the uh, that's the deal. When I take it all apart and get the cassettes out, I'll show you those two, um, and we'll marvel together at how how insanely worn out they are. But again, 2004 Ford Explorer with the uh, 4.0 uh, timing chains. Yeah, see you guys later.